a consequence of there being materials where light is slower is that when light passes from one material to another, it can refract. And refract means change direction. It can also reflect at the boundary. Right? And Snell's law tells us um, how that refraction will take place. Snell's law basically says if you take the index in material one, in one, and you multiply it by the sine of this angle theta one, all right, the angle that the incident ray is coming in at, or is traveling at with respect to this perpendicular, then it refracts, and with respect to the perpendicular, you have theta two in this material in two. So it refracts so that n1 sine theta 1 equals n2 sine theta 2. This is the basis for how we make lenses for our glasses and things like that and how we predict what's going to happen with them. That's the basis for lenses all in, in, in all kinds of realms in terms of how does the light behave as it goes from air into the material your glasses are made out of and then from the material your glasses are made out of back out in the air. The other thing that happens uh, when you look at this, when you go from a material that is more optically dense, i.e. N1 is higher than N2, to one that's less optically dense, the light bends away from the normal. Right? If, in a, if N2 were more optically dense, the light would actually bend towards this ray, right? So if let's say N2 is greater than N1, then the light when it comes into into here would be closer to this axis, not farther away. So from this drawing, you can see it's drawn so that N1 is greater than N2. Well, something special happens when you get far enough, right? When you go far enough, uh, oh, there we go. When you go far enough, um, you know, as as this ray gets further and further from the axis, you hit a point where it becomes parallel. And, and that's called the critical angle because past that point, everything is reflected inside the material. You get what we call total internal reflection. It's a very important um, phenomena that we use all the time. Um, the two main places we use it are fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables are designed so that light bounces along inside the cable and it totally internally reflects every time it hits this cladding on the outside. And, and this, this allows us to send light down an optical fiber over many, 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 many miles because it's not dispersing, it's not spreading out, it's just all traveling down the fiber. The other place where we use this all the time is in diamonds. So the reason diamonds are cut the way they are and the way they're, the reason they're so sparkly is that diamonds are designed so that light comes in. If you remember, the index of refraction for diamond is really high at 2.4. So diamonds are cut so that light comes in and it bounces around inside um, and then as you turn it the reason the diamond sparkles as you turn it is as you turn it in the light you get to the point where all this light is coming in from all kinds of different directions and the only place it can come out is you know one facet somewhere so as you look at it this really sparkles and it sparkles because you're seeing all the light that's coming into the diamond from all over and it's just bouncing around inside until it finds this facet and makes its way out um, and that's the secret to making diamonds all nice and sparkly it's total internal reflection and that's it for this segment